Welcome back to the Dungeon of Bad Decisions. This is the 43rd installment of Anna Attempts to Explain Things. I'm your host, Anna, and this week's topic is the story of Doug, the dickbag DM. So this week and the next couple weeks are probably are going to be more story time topics than, you know, actual d d stuff because it's the Jewish holiday season this month and that shit is stressful. So... Doug. Doug was from my second group ever. Originally started off as my summer group and then became tagged as like the home campaign, whatever. Okay, so what did Doug do? Well, he had my character raped and he didn't tell me. Now, I'm sure you've all heard stories of, you know, DMs who will have your character raped and think it's funny, but Doug, my character apparently somehow managed to conceive without my awareness. Like, there wasn't even any, I wasn't even aware of sexual intercourse happening. So what happened is, Doug was running sort of a high-level goofball pa campaign in Pathfinder. Um, I'm playing a 14-year-old half-work warblade fighter, whatever. I have two swords. I'm a badass. Uh, we're clearing out a red dragon's nest, or what used to be a red dragon's nest. And there's still some, like, you know, cobalt servitors, whatever. So, um, there's a cave. Me and one other party member stay back to guard while the, uh, wit, or the witch, uh, I don't know why we sent the witch at, uh, after uh, some kobolds that ran off. Uh, so it's magical darkness, so he can't aim, and his only air of effect spell is Wave of Ecstasy, which, if the, basically what happens if the people in the area uh, fail the will save, um, they're orgasming helplessly for whatever amount of time. Um, so he tosses a kobold out the entrance and it lands against my leg. Um, and I miss the, uh, the, I miss him telling me, us to leave them alive for questioning. So obviously I feel a little threatened and offended and murder hobo-y, so I stab him to death in about two turns. Uh, which, you know, in-game is a time span of approximately 12 seconds. Doug, uh, the DM has me do a roll, and he does this shit all the time. It was a, you know, percentile roll, and so I did it, and I didn't really question it because there was a lot of other things happening. And this shit happens, and I figured it was, like, for some kind of effect, uh, because this, this place was full of magical traps. And it, I, I wouldn't have put it past him to, like, have murder in this precise spot, uh, trigger some kind of thing. Anyways, so that happens. So then I get a text from a, one of the other players, uh, BJ. And he tells me, it's, he tells me, uh, by the way, your character is pregnant. And I'm like, I'm sorry, what? Like, this is, this is like, five in the morning, like, two days later or whatever. Uh, and I'm sorry, what? And I'm like, I'm sorry, what? I don't remember having sex in the game. And he says, yeah, you know, you remember that kobold? He got you pregnant. I was like, wait, what kobold? He's like, you know, the one you stabbed, the one that Tim threw at you and you stabbed to death. And I was like, how did we get, how did I get pregnant? And he's like, I don't know. I just, I just didn't want you finding out in the middle of the game when you wake up with morning sick dust. Cause, and I was like, thank you for telling me. And he's like, yeah, because I figured you were going to physically assault Doug if that happened. I said, yeah, yeah, I probably would have. Thank you for the warning. Honestly, it's kind of amazing that I managed to physically restrain myself the next time I saw Doug, despite being forewarned. Um, so I told Doug, um, okay, because, you know, like I said, we were both fully clothed. Like, this, this, this kobold wasn't just wearing a loincloth, he's, you know, fully clothed, kobold, because he's, like, a uh, high-class, whatever, dragon servitor. Uh, our physical contest lasted exactly 12 seconds. Neither of us touched each other's bare skin, and I'm sta and, uh, and during that 12 seconds, I'm stabbing the guy to death. But somehow, his, the kobold semen gets into my half-orc's vagina, and I'm pregnant. So, obviously, I text Doug about this. Sebastian, do you mind? So, the texts. Uh, so, I texted Doug. I was informed that you uh, did a secret role. My character is pregnant. This is true. I'm leaving the group. Uh, he says, yes, it's true. If you have to leave, okay, but it's a game and you got crit by a guy in ecstasy that you stabbed. There's ways of dealing in-game with that, but if you're out, I wish you the best of luck. And I was like, you think it's okay to impregnate my 14-year-old character because a kobold was orgasming against her leg? The whole idea isn't physically impossible. And quite honestly, it is absolutely disgusting that you came up with it. I know that spell. Don't try to bullshit me and say that random impregnation of other characters is a side effect. And what exactly did he crit? He was thrown against my leg. He was incapacitated. He's literally under the uh, condition, incapacitated. And, he's, and uh, he says, again, game. He was thrown at you. Your age has nothing to do with it, except, yes, at 14, most girls have started cycling. In-game, 
you would have to, had to deal with minuses farther it went along. As for how your character dealt with this is up to you. If you had child, how you dealt with that is uh, up to you. BJ didn't. What BJ said didn't matter because you wouldn't live long enough to hit morning sickness. I wouldn't live long enough to hit morning sickness? I don't remember that. I wish you... Again, if you must leave, I wish you best of luck, but getting pregnant in game is no different than po these, these poison are getting implanted by creatures like illithids or salads. I don't remember salads. It's all part of the game. And I was like, do you understand how pregnancy works? You don't come on a girl's leg and bam, pregnant. I am fully aware of what age women begin cycling. Hello, I have a uterus. Uh, a cobalt is not an illithid. Uh, it re reduces in the conventional manner. I, I double-checked this information. You have no excuse for this, and the fact that you had Tim tell BJ to tell me makes me think that you are aware of that fact and wanted to avoid my inevitable reaction. And he says, Tim cast a spell, and you keeping on him versus making distance is how I dealt with it. I said, I spent six seconds hacking him to pieces. Do you really, in what possible reality do you think, do you exist where that constitutes sex? He says, I'm well aware how consumption works. If you don't like it, deal with it in-game when you become aware. Two, quick game. Three, come to terms with make most of it. Like in real life, part of life is the adventure. Part of life is the legacy. And I said, no. Pregnancy is not a goddamn adventure, Doug. You are not following any kind of precedent or pathfinder law with this ruling. You made this all, all on your own, and this, that is disgusting. I cannot believe you would ever think something like this is a good idea. You essentially had my character raped without telling me because she felt threatened by a random kobold having bespelled orgasms against her leg where another party member tossed him. And you still haven't told me what kind of crit he rolled. It says, Be by the way, looking at spells, stun first round stagger if don't save for remainder of duration one round per level. He attacked round one, was still in tunnels of town. I said, round one was him falling against my leg. Your argument only sustains contact between us eight for 18 seconds, 24 at the most. Again, hardly enough time to get away with ra raping my character when she gets five stabs around and hit with most of them. It says, Anna, it's 4.30 a.m. Your character has issues to deal with. In-game, you can deal how you choose. Drew had a family and dealt with it. If it's too much to comprehend, I'm sorry. My effect is still in gameplay. You have to stop playing best of luck. I said, Drew chose his family. Uh, Drew's character was married to some kind of vampire woman who was like with an edict for pregnancy, but she took care of all the kids. I don't know. He said, you had my character raped under physically impossible circumstances and did not bother to tell me, not didn't, and not didn't, only didn't bother to tell me about it yourself at the time, but had another player deliver the news for you. It's not the pregnancy I'm mad about, it's the fact that I wasn't made aware that I was conceiving in the first place. I wouldn't be mad if my character had sex without pre protection. Pregnancy is a fair ruling then. This, however, is absolute bullshit. I'm disappointed I ever trusted you enough to be alone with you. Because he used to drive me to uh, the games because I don't have a car and I, I can't drive, especially not then. Guys who think things like this are, 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 are things who think things like this are okay are also commonly found to be acquaintance rapists. He says simple irony here: it's okay for a fourteen-year-old to murder, but it's not okay for them to be violated. That's sick. Your character is pregnant. The party can support you or ditch you. You have the child, give up it to the church or whatever. The fact remains you have a challenge as, as a player. Not every challenge is leading. As you can see, he was completely missing the point, possibly on purpose. I don't know. And I said, I'm leaving your campaign. I will be remaining in Tim's. I will not be requiring you to drive me. I had another player uh, drive me from then on. And had that kobold not been incapacitated, are you telling me it wouldn't have tried to kill my character? And let's not forget, my character started off 203 years old. It's your fault she's 14. This is true. I got baleful polymorph from a 203-year-old gnome uh, into a 14-year-old half-orc. And I told you I'm not bothered by the pregnancy. I am bothered by the part where you have my character raped as a joke. He said, this is the part where I was really alarmed. It's not a joke. Never was. And I said, really? Because according to BJ and Tim, you came up with it because you thought it would be funny. He said, no, never said that. I did tell them I did make you do a high-low, a, a high-low, a percentile roll. And you didn't clear, even though it was low, it was not in your favor. It was never a joke in that statement. So, and I said, so why did you have my character raped without telling me then? Please, Doug, I'd love to hear how you could possibly excuse this. I said, Anna, based off of current spell effect in play, I made a choice. Obviously, in your head, monsters only think kill, run away. I need to do my counts at work. You should sleep since no matter how many times I go over this, I'm wrong. Ruling stands. I said, the spell effect is that the targets are orgasming so often and hard they are incapacitated. There is no physically possible way that cobalt semen could have entered my half orc's vagina. You made this up because you thought it would be funny, and it didn't occur to you that in order for my character to become pregnant, the cobalt would have to rape her. Now that this is being pointed out to you, you're either too proud or too much of a rape apologist to retract that ruling, and too passive-aggressive to be a decent human being about it. If your ruling stands, so does my response. I will not be continuing playing your campaign. I will not be, and I will not be alone with you for more than a few minutes at a time. You have lost all of my trust and respect. I hope you're happy with your mistakes. Maybe someday you'll figure yourself out enough to admit them. That was my last text to him. Um, afterwards, he was no longer, his campaign was mysteriously discontinued. 
nobody and we went back to somebody else running. So yeah. Let me know in the comments below if you think Doug was in the right. If you do, I can I can just fucking ban you because Jesus Christ, what the fuck. If you enjoyed this video, check out more content in the links in the description below for the Dungeon by Decisions Discord server and my blog where I post quotes, anecdotes, and photos from the tabletop games I play in at the Dungeon of Decisions.tumblr.com. And as for my Patreon. Special thanks again to Crunchy Chompy for being a game master's nightmare. And to Paul John and Tark for being average adventurers. Uh click here to check out the rest of the series, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Roll 20s, y'all!